This is my OpenGL 3D engine. If you're watching this video, you probably also want to learn to do things like this from scratch yourself. The thing is, learning OpenGL is not easy. You need to write and understand many lines of code and two programming languages only to draw a triangle to the screen. So this is why I made this video. It is a compilation of all the good resources that you should know in order to start your OpenGL journey. There are many things that I wish I knew back when I started learning OpenGL, so make sure to stick till the end because all of them are equally important and will save you plenty of time in the future. Also, at the end of the video, I'll show you my first project after one year of learning, so I can motivate you to start your own journey. There are multiple difficult points in learning OpenGL, and I'll help you overcome them. The first one is setting up OpenGL and learning basic stuff. I'll start by quickly clarifying what OpenGL is. It is not a library, it's a specification made by Kronos Group that is implemented by the graphics card vendor. So, basically, Kronos says that OpenGL will have these functions, then NVIDIA or AMD or Intel will implement them, and then you as the programmer will use a library to load those functions. There are a few libraries that do that, like GLAD or GLUE, but they all do the same thing. With OpenGL, you can achieve pretty much AAA graphics, and there are games that use OpenGL like Doom 2016. It is not the most powerful API, but it is the easiest to learn. You can use almost any programming language, but if you know several, I recommend using C++ because most tutorials use C++ and because it is easier to write up and it. Whatever you choose, make sure to know that language very well and know how to do debugging because Debugging in OpenGL is very difficult, so you really, really don't want to spend extra time debugging other things that are not related to it. I also recommend you that before you learn OpenGL, you try at least for a week or two a higher level graphics API that allows you to simply draw shapes to the screen like SFML, so you can get used to handling Windows and how a graphics program works. I have a video on that if you are interested. I prefer to learn using videos, so I recommend you these two video series. One from Guillermo and one from Jamie King. They are both very good, so you should probably look into both, but if you only have time to watch one of them, watch the latter simply because it covers more topics, including 3D, which it explains very, very well, so do not skip those. Along with this tutorial series, you can also read some tutorials from learnopengel.com. If you want, you can skip the beginner tutorials and watch some videos instead, but it is very important to not skip this chapter. You should look into the debugging chapter as soon as you display your first triangle on the screen. So you can start learning from the journal, from Jamie King, from this website, or any other resource, but as soon as you get OpenGL up and running, go to this chapter. OpenGL unfortunately doesn't report errors by default, so you have to enable them. This will save you a lot of time in the future. You can also try a graphics debugger like Render Docker and Site from NVIDIA, but I'd leave that for when you start doing some more advanced stuff. If you need to know what an OpenGL function is doing, I recommend you to use this site, docker.gl. Here you can search for all the functions that exist in OpenGL. Stack Overflow is very helpful, but sometimes you might need help directly from someone. I recommend joining a Discord server where there are active people that can help you with graphics programming questions. The Cherno server has many people that are willing to help you, for example. The next big difficulty is understanding the mess required to render CD scenes. As I said, Jamie King explains this very well and you should also have all the things that you need in learnopengel.com, but you should also learn some basic linear algebra. If, if you already know some, you should definitely look into 3Blue1Brown's linear algebra course because it explains it in a visual way and also, depending on how much time you have, you should also look into a book that explains mathematics for graphics programming, like this one. And finally, the last difficulty is finding some advanced toppings to learn. LearnOpenGL.com is a very good resource for beginners and even intermediate things, but while learning graphics programming, you will soon realize that the industry has evolved a lot and some things are very difficult to learn, and you don't find many easy to understand resources online. First, I'll mention that you can find some good resources on YouTube for intermediate things, like this guy that made videos for some tutorials on LearnOpenGL.com. I also recommend reading some render studies, which are basically some blogs that take popular games and explain how they implemented different rendering things. And also, find presentations from SciGraph or 
other conferences and try to implement yourself some easy things that you see there. I link below as many resources that I can find useful, but those are only from my experience. So if you also know some good resources, make sure to comment them down below in order to help other people start their own journey. Now, as promised, I'll show you my first big open gel project. It might not look like much, but I have just managed to get a clip on 3D at that point, and you can also see that I managed to integrate a physics library into my game. After this project, however, my skills really started to compound, and soon I even managed to make a Minecraft clone in OpenGL. So if you really want to learn OpenGL, give it some time, because the results are worth it. Hey, on my channel I make videos about game development and programming in general. So since you watched till the end, you will also enjoy this video where I showcase my 3D engine. Or maybe this video where I explain you what horizon-based ambient occlusion is. See you.